Hello, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to TLC. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever and he gave us another beautiful day to honor and glorify his name in this earth. Thank you, Father, for this day, this time, for everyone who comes to this little corner of your vineyard. We bless your name, God. Thank you, Father. Chuck and I hope and pray. We pray for you guys every day, and we hope that you are doing well and growing in your relationship with the Lord. That's our prayer for all of us. And if you have prayer requests specifically that you want us to be praying about, uh, please send those requests to prayers at vickianchuck.com. Teresa will get them out to the team, and we will be praying. Today, I'm going to read Psalm 62. For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will all of you attack a man to batter him like a leaning wall, a tottering fence? They only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in falsehood. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. Selah. For God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence. For my hope is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory, my mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. Set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God, and that to you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love, for you will render to a man according to his work. I was just reminded of scripture 
and I can't recall where the verse is exactly. But the question was put to Messiah. Basically, what are the works that God wants us to do? And the Lord Yeshua said, and of course I'm paraphrasing, he said to believe on his son. That's what God wants. That's what the Father wants from us, to believe on his son. And what does that look like? You guys, I believe it means live the way our Savior lived. Do what he said to do. Love and forgive and do all of those incredibly simple and yet at the same time sometimes incredibly hard things. But our God is good and he made a way for us to do that. So when I read this verse, verse 12, where it says, you will render to a man according to his work, I guess I kind of look at it like, you'll render to us according to how we believe and what we do with the belief in you that we profess. I want to remind you all today that you are greatly loved and cherished by our Creator, and so am I. That He's good and faithful to finish all of the work He started in each one of us. And day by day, he calls us to trust Him, to lean on Him, to rely on Him, to follow Him. He gives His angels to be ministering spirits to the heirs of salvation. He leads us beside the still waters and he restores our souls. Our cups run over with the goodness and mercy and favor and faithfulness of the Lord. Father God, may each one of us always remember, it's our prayer that we will remember above and beyond everything. You are our first priority. Your will and your way your desires. We want to walk according to the plans you've made for each one. Thank you, God. We bless the name of the Most High. In Yeshua's name, amen. So today, you guys, let's lift up our eyes beyond the hills, beyond the horizon, far beyond anything you and I can see. Let's lift up our eyes to the one who is our help, who is our Savior, our King, our Messiah, who is the Lord God Almighty, in whom there is no shadow of turning who's faithful to his word every day, all day long, every night, all night long, throughout eternity. Our confidence is in him. Our peace is found in him. Our rest, our strength, our hope, all of it right there in his hands. So if you're fighting with discouragement or depression or fear or wondering what you're supposed to do or any kind of a thing, just look to the Lord. He has every answer you need. He has every answer I need. And he is good. And his mercy endures forever. We love you very much. Chuck and I pray for you. As I have said many times, we pray for you every single day. It does not matter if we know you face to face. 
You are in our prayers. You are in our hearts. And we truly love you guys. Thank you so much for being part of this work. Thank you for being part of the fellowship here in this little corner of Father's Vineyard on the earth. Bye for now.